Hi, I'm Nancy Newhart. I'm the curator at the Allegheny Highlands Arts and Crafts Center. We're here with the Fall Festival Art Show. It's the 50th show of the series, and we have just had the pieces judged with our wonderful judge, Pat Carr from Roanoke, and we're going to talk about some of the pieces a little bit. Pat Carr taught for 35 years? 43 years. 43 years, sorry. <laughs> uh, first at the middle school level, and then at the high school level, and then at the Arnold Burton Center for the, Center Arts. For the Arts and Technology mm -hmm. in Roanoke. She's also been a long time working artist. She has honors from the Virginia Watercolor Society. She's had teaching awards. She has a number of other awards from places, including the Taubman Museum. And she's experienced in a whole wide range of media, which is a great thing for this show since we have seven different categories. So, Pat, why don't you tell us a little bit about this piece, which won Best in Show. Um, it's a oil and a, a mixed media piece. And you talk about it, and I'll see who did it. All right. First off, it's very difficult to compose in a square. We're so used to looking at things in rectangles. So to get this asymmetrical balance is beautiful. These little touches of bright color in here, the complementary colors of turquoise and red orange. And then I, I could not walk away from this gorgeous negative shape of the shadow coming from the organic shape of the cactus versus the geometric lines of the square and the uh, wall that it's sitting on. Okay, and the piece is by Linda Atkinson of Vinton, Virginia. We are here with the first place in the Water Media Award. It's a watercolor by Kyle Kieser of Covington. And you want to tell us why you chose this one? I love the perspective, how it moves, comes around the corner, moves up these steps, and then goes up into here. I love, the, the again, the complementary colors with the violet and the yellow. And the shadows on this part of the building that are in blues and blue violets, and then that wonderful pop of kind of a red orange color for the door. The shapes of the little red and green and the vines and the flowers are so soft and delicate. Again, organic versus geometric is important. This piece is the uh, Gail Gear Memorial Award. It was named for a Roanoke sculptor by the name of Gail Gear, who was a friend of the center and did artist residencies here for many years. And this little piece, number 13, is by Mark Morris of Roanoke. And you want to tell us why you picked it? I like the stone choice, for one thing. I like the gradation and the scale. And it's very difficult to do the negative carving inside a piece of stone. It's very tactile. It's linear, but it's got movement, you know, going the undulating forms in here. So we are here with the Virginia Fraser Award. That award was named for one of our longtime volunteers, and uh, Pat has selected a piece about horses and cowboys in space. Again, this piece is in a square format. But the artist has very skillfully done a triangular composition, which is really, really nice in here. The artist has, has done a lot of browns, but they're not muddy. And that's a real hard thing to do. Not, yes, it not, is. Not, not make mud when you're painting. Um, and I like the bits of highlight that define the figures and the horses and how they, they they veer away from each other is nice too. It's really nice. And this is the first place in the fiber category. It's called Sunflower Festival and it's by Bonnie Kieser who is from Virginia. Pat? I like the scale of this piece and then I like the variety of the sizes of the sunflowers. The tactile quality of the batik uh, the shades of green that the artist was able to create and and then the texture getting the texture in this part versus the smooth part and then we've got a variety of lines with thick and thin and again organic versus geometric with the stems and the leaves 
Fall Festival show will be up through November 20th. It opens Friday, October 15th at noon. And you can also come and vote for your favorite. We do do a People's Choice Award, and we have ballot boxes in both parts of the gallery, so you can just write down the number of the piece that is your favorite and put it in the box, and we'll count them up at the end of the show and award that prize. And there will be a list to go with the exhibit for all our visitors of who did which piece, which you can take and look at as you walk around the gallery and see who did the iris or the cows or the moon or the tomatoes or whatever else.